There is nothing like a full house in this theatre. There is no experience like it. That feeling when the house lights go out and the curtain opens and the performance starts, is it, you should be able to bottle it. If you could bottle it, it would change everybody's lives. So this is the Palace Theatre. We were built in 1890 and we've seen quite a lot of changes um, in, in the, those years since it was built. Um, we had a, a new porch area built on in um, 84 um, and in the 90s um, we also had some other building work done. And then in 2006 um, we were completely renovated which is um, the, the fantastic auditorium you see today um, is, is what was put forward then. Um, and then since um, the CIC's taken over, we've done some other building work in the main area so that we've expanded the space that we have for our audiences. So Jazz Hand CIC that runs the theatre now is a community interest company, which means it's a not-for-profit. So everything that we make goes back into the theatre, goes back into making the theatre better. This theatre was built in 1890, and um, she's a grand old lady, but she needs to be looked after. So everything that we make goes into that. We're really lucky that we're supported by the Friends of the Palace Theatre. The Friends of the Palace have members. Anybody can join to be a friend of the Palace. It costs um, the grand sum of £10 per year. Um, and for that, you are supporting the theatre, but you also get a great discount on your tickets. Um, so it's a really good thing to be involved in. Um, and we work really hard with different local groups to make sure that um, everything that we're doing um, is, is building on the theatre offer. In terms of local people, um, if they are interested in us bringing something to the, the stage, all they have to do is talk to us about it. Our whole role is around the community here. We do everything we can to help the community um, in the theatre and outside the theatre. If someone's doing an event in painting and we can help them out, we always try to. Um, we involve everybody here um, and also we like to try and bring youngsters on to be involved with the theatre. So quite often up here I'm running the show and I've got a 14 year old who wants to do work experience, who wants to run the show. Um, we get the local college to come and do shows here and we let them do what they want to do to run the show and we'll oversee them. So it, we are big, one big happy family for the local community. We've got some great performances coming up um, from now until Christmas and after Christmas. There's a whole range of different acts that we bring into the theatre. There is genuinely something for everyone. Keeping somewhere like Paint and Palace thriving, keeping it going, bringing in acts from 200 miles away. If you don't have that, it's, everything's going to get very, very stale. And there's a big... Uh, uh, issue, I'd call it an issue, in theatres at the moment and that's that um, to keep running, to keep operating and to keep alive, theatres are having to be very very commercial with their artistic choices um, and I think that's a shame because as soon as you have to be commercial with your artistic choices it means everything becomes the same to be when you see little children enjoying pantomime, when you see some of our older visitors, you know, who struggle sometimes to get here, but they would not miss a show for the world, they would not miss supporting us. Um, and also when people say thank you, people say thank you for bringing those here, but are you going to book them again? The biggest thrill we have is when an audience member leaves and says, will you please book that band again or will you please bring that show back? That's what makes a difference to me.